Come on in, guys. Welcome to Idled Out, where we talk all things Survivor. My name is Luke, and today we're talking about Season 40. Winners at War is fast approaching, and it's got me thinking. What should Survivor's 40th season look like? What do I want out of it? What do we as fans deserve from the show? Well, I can't speak for everyone, but I can speak for me. And in my opinion, there's a lot Survivor can do to make this upcoming season really special. Here's my season 40 wish list of the top five things I want to see in Survivor Winners at War. At number five is something I actually think we're pretty likely to get. An epic intro scene a la Survivor Heroes vs. Villains and Survivor Cambodia. Heroes vs. Villains had the castaways flown in on helicopters, talking trash and explaining why they're heroes and why they're villains. It set up the season on such an epic high right off the bat, treating Survivor less as a game show and more as warriors meeting for their final showdown. Ugh. It just set up the stakes so well. Not only that, some of Survivor's coolest and most memorable quotes come from this intro piece. This time I slay everyone and trust no one. Last time I was mean and this time I'm meaner. You know, I'll lie, I don't care, but I'll make up a good lie. I think villains are smarter than heroes because they don't mind stabbing somebody in the back to get where they want to get. It's a fact, it's a proven fact. Google it. Well, mostly. Same goes for Survivor Cambodia, where the second chancers walk through the Angkor Wat temple and reflect just on what this second shot means to them. Whereas Heroes vs. Villains was a season about settling old scores, Cambodia was a season about redemption, so the intro piece reflects that. Game Changer's theme was... muddy, to say the least. So the show just uh, didn't do this. But Survivor has the opportunity again to deliver the goods. This season is an epic showdown, the best of the best, so we need to hear from all the contestants what brought them back. Number four on my Survivor wish list, don't make anyone invisible. Come on, all these people have won before. Don't do them dirty by giving them no screen time. Look, we all know Boston Rob, Parvati, Tony, and Sandra are all going to get a massive amount of screen time. And that's fine. But I'm worried about some of the less bombastic personalities like Denise, Danny, Yule, Adam. I know some people will have to be minor characters in the story. That's the nature of storytelling. But don't purple anyone, Survivor, okay? You know, if you're thinking about giving Boston Rob his, like, ninth confessional of the episode, maybe throw it Sophie's way. You never talk, really. I know. It's kind of funny, huh? Weird. Next on the wish list is how Jeff delivers the final votes. Nowadays, as Jeff takes the votes from Tribal Council, we get a seamless cut between the action on the island and the live studio audience. Jeff walks off set on the island, then walks right onto a soundstage in Los Angeles. But in the standard definition era, things were a bit different. Just this once, pretty please, bring this back. We all know it's corny, but it's so much fun. And it would be a great throwback to a time when a lot of these people first played. Besides, it's not like Survivor shies away from corny these days. Have you seen any of their commercials? So Jeff, when you collect the votes, hop on your jet ski, jump out of a plane, paraglide all the way to Los Angeles for all I care. Well, let's do this one last time. Number two is a bit more general. Making it to season 40 and 20 years on air is a major accomplishment. You know it, I know it, the show knows it. So this season should be a love letter to Survivor. And by that I mean, don't shy away from giving us the fan service. Bring back some of Survivor's most iconic challenges that have gone dormant. In particular, we need to have the Survivor auction back. I know the Worlds Apart cast completely broke this thing, but in the pre-Dirty 30 era, we got the auction like almost every season. So find a way to fix it and get it back on our screens, and no, fire tokens don't count as a replacement. We also need to see the gross food challenge. This has been a survivor staple since episode freaking two of the very first season. This is such a memorable challenge, and while it hasn't disappeared completely, it is of fair amount importance to me that it be on season 40. We can even mix it up. Remember the time they made smoothies in Samoa? Look, Survivor, if you're bored of people eating larva, uh, do something like that. Finally, I want to see a car giveaway. It is a true Survivor staple. 
I know it might seem quaint to compete for a car given that the grand prize is $2 million, so the show's gonna have to do a little better than a Pontiac Aztec. And it's got some of the neatest amenities a vehicle's ever had. You know, you got a stereo in the back of it. Still, the car challenge has led to some amazing moments over the years. Road dates with Jeff, Cindy keeping the car instead of giving the rest of her tribe mates cars and then getting voted out. And who could forget the Yao Man and Dreams debacle? Man, remember when this was the most controversial thing to ever happen on Survivor? Yao Man, you're the first person ever in the history of Survivor to go from winning a truck to not having a truck and going to Exile Island. Boat's waiting for you. Those sure were the days. Anywho, bring back these classic rewards and challenges and make this season a walk down Survivor's own memory lane. Speaking of challenges, the number one thing I want to see on Survivor Winners at War is a throwback to Season 1. And yes, it is so important that it's in a category all its own. I want to see a final immunity challenge that truly tests who wants it most. Bring back the hand on a pole final immunity challenge. Survivor utilized simple tests of willpower and endurance like this as the final challenge off and on through its first decade, but lately has steered away from challenges that involve people standing around for hours on end. I don't know why. And while some of these new challenges are great, nothing beats the original. So let's see it back one last time and make whoever's getting a one-way ticket to the final three truly earn it. Give me four hands, one pole, and as many hours as is needed. Got nothing else for ya. To help me jet ski, skydive, and paraglide to more views, like and subscribe and I'll get you more Survivor content just like this. Until next time, don't get idled out.